Peplink has made some slight changes to the popular Transit Duo Pro cellular integrated router with a slightly better modem and a substantially higher price. We've got the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on Peplink's uh, Max Transit Duo Pro. This has been a popular 4G router that gives you two modems that can be combined and bonded together and bring a lot of cellular capability into one device, as long as you're okay with kind of being in the 4G era and not the 5G era. So this is a dual 4G modem router that has been quite popular with our audience for quite a while. But one of the limitations of the more recent versions of the Transit Duo Pro was that the modems inside of it were a kind of this striking this weird hybrid balance with one modem was a category seven modem and the other modem was a category 12 modem. So you had a kind of a lower end modem and a middle range 4G modem instead of two identical modems. And this was because the category 12 modem chips that that Peplink was using did not have support for T-Mobile's band 71, the most important band for T-Mobile's long range coverage was not in that category 12 modem. So they used a lower end category seven modem that was had band 71, but did not have the performance of the category 12 modem. So the basic difference between the category seven and the category 12 was category seven modems can combine together two signals for two channel carrier aggregation and category 12 can combine together three signals for more carrier aggregation and more download performance. So you had to choose which modem you were using. And for a lot of people's deployments, they would have set aside the category seven modem for T-Mobile and use the category 12 modem for AT&T or Verizon. But in areas where T-Mobile had a stronger signal and didn't need that band 71, you'd actually would have been better off with your T-Mobile SIM over on the category 12 side. So it might have led to some SIM juggling, swapping things around, trying to figure things out because you had these two mismatched modems. Well, the new version of the Transit uh, Duo Pro actually solves that now, but it's using a newer, more advanced, more modern category 12 modem for both. So you've got now a matched set of modems with equal capabilities and both modems support all the important bands for the, the 4G carriers here. So you don't have to decide between T-Mobile and AT&T and Verizon and band 71 and whatnot. So this is a minor improvement in modem technology, at least for the, um, you know, going to this newer category 12 version. That is a nice improvement to the Transit Duo Pro, but there's a disappointing change here, and that is the price went up from 999 MSRP to 1199 MSRP with this change. So that is actually a pretty big price increase percentage-wise, considering this is kind of, you know, not quite obsolete, but it is 4G era technology. This is not 5G. This is not really future proof. This is not investing in where the carriers are deploying all of their network technology. So that is a bit disappointing to see that price increase. We are seeing some pushback on that. And actually, we have now heard that Peplink is authorized several of the resellers to keep selling the, um, the to sell both the Cat 712 version, the remaining inventory, and the new dual Cat 12 version at $9.99 for the time being. So including our you know, partners and friends over at Mobile Must Have, they have the new dual Cat 12 version at $9.99 for the time being. So that price increase is maybe not going to stick around, or at least you can hop on and get this dual modem version at $9.99 right now. So that is the update on uh, the uh, Transit Duo Pro. This has been a very popular device. A lot of people really love it. And well, now you no longer have to juggle and decide which SIM card and which modem slot you need to worry about. You just have a better Cat 12 modem that supports all the carriers all at once. So that's the update. Stay tuned for more news from the Mobile Internet Resource Center down the road. These videos are brought to you by our premium members for mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.